Okay, so we're gonna play our first game with the Minnesota Wild now. It took me quite a while to finally get a start after I was officially traded here. They sat me for the first five games that I've been a member of the organization. This is what I get to play behind in Minnesota. Patrick Kane, at an age of 38, is still 84 overall and has some X-Factors. So maybe he's just looking to cash in one final go at the Stanley Cup. I didn't pay attention to the standings. We'll check that out too if I can remember. Marco Rossi on the top line. That guy has sniped on me plenty of times before. Won't be happening now. Well, I wouldn't get ahead of myself. It has happened to me before that I've been scored on by my own teammates, but it probably isn't going to happen from Marco Rossi. Miko Rontanen on the top. That's a decent, that's a really, really good top line, even with the older Patrick Kane on it. And then Tavo Teravainen, Nick Schmaltz, and Riley Smith. Just a really, honestly, look at the depth of the forwards on this team. There is not a player below 82 overall on this entire Minnesota forward core. This is the offense for the Minnesota Wild. This is top notch. Uh, this is a cup contending team, is it not? I asked to be traded to a contender. And Jacob Slavin on the back end. I actually get to play behind Jacob Slavin. I played for the Carolina Hurricanes, but Slavin was not there. When I was a member of the Canes and Jalen Chat, oh, yep, Jalen Chatfield, former Hurricanes defenseman, really solid third pairing defenseman. I love Jalen Chatfield. And then on the top, but going back to the top pair again, Kalen Addison, no idea who this guy is, but he's 83 overall. So the defense, not, you know, not terrible. This is not AHL level stuff like Carolina had. Um, I'm not, I really don't know what to expect playing behind this team, but also, who's in net? for this Minnesota Wild team with me. Oh, God. Finally! I'm better than whoever the other goaltender is here. Although, let's be honest with ourselves. Philip Gustafson has got to be the number one. I have not earned the right to be a number one goaltender yet. I do have a gold X factor, though. And my first start, of course, just like it did in Detroit, comes against the Toronto Maple Leafs in Minnesota. I got scored on twice on 15 shots. So not the greatest introduction to the Minnesota Wild fans and teammates and organization. But when I jump into gameplay, oh, that's brutal. <laughs> uh, well, when I jump into gameplay, I'm going to try to put the best effort forward. Oh, God, I forgot to look at the standings. I knew I would forget to. It's okay. I know that I am now running with the big dogs. I'm with a contending team. Uh oh, oh, no. Oh, God! Tethering is on! That has completely thrown me off. Mitch Marner gets an easy goal. This has been a rough night. Yeah, am I pulled? Did I jump in to play probably 10 seconds of game and then get pulled? I forgot tethering was on. I was moving all over the place. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, this is just... This is, this is atypical. This would be an atypical debut for a new team. Gosh dang it. One game and I got called into GM Strudwick's office. He's like, you're traded. <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> Disappointing first game uh, from you and the team. All me and the coaching. All me? What kind of what, what, what kind of a sentence is that? All me and the coaching staff ask of you is to give us a chance. Shouldn't it be the coaching staff and I? <laughs> anyway, whatever. All that they're asking for is give us a chance to win. I know. I was traded to a contender. I was asked to get a shutout. I'll be Let's be real here, bro. I haven't gotten a shutout in intervened gameplay. And did you see what the simulation did to me before I even jumped in the net? <laughs> Whatever. What a cocky response. I'm already in the doghouse with Minnesota Wild Management. Played all of one game. Got tugged from the net. And I'm in the doghouse already. Oh, boy. Is Rontanen going to start chewing me out as well? Man, everybody is all over my back. Because I, I'm trying... But I am not a competent goaltender, am I? All right. Whatever I, whatever answer I give you, does it promise to shut out? Please tell me that it doesn't promise. Then I'm not promising a shutout because that's just not happening. Okay, let's try again. Oh, and this time we're not going to have tethering on. Please simulation. Please simulation. Faber scores. Second period. All right. We're. We're jumping into gameplay, and we haven't been scored on yet. 
All right, let's try to get it done. Stay in the net for the whole game. There's a lot more on the line. The, oh, all right, there we go. Tethering is now off, and Kane hits the post. Kane almost would have given us some more goal support, which I could definitely use in a game like this, but I'm planning on not letting a Calgary shot pass me. I know, the scoreboard tells everything. Um, I need this. I really do need this. I need to shut the door here. Shut the door for the rest of the, of the game. You know, an easy way to shut the door is just to not face a, a flame shot. There we go. Cover that. Don't take any chances in this. All right, first time Minnesota Wild. Second game as a member of the Wild. But first, first full game in intervened gameplay, that is. And we kept the red flow. And we've changed to a more modern goaltending mask, though. Huberto off the rush. We'll just redirect that away from the net. And I kept the coho pads. I don't know if you will ever see that or not, but we did. We kept the coho pads. We just changed the colors to match the Calgary, or the Calgary Flames. The Minnesota Wild color scheme. God, I'm just so nervous right now. I want this really badly. I want to shut this down really badly. Oh, that, okay. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. That scared the crap out of me, man. That scared the crap out of me. Because I was really out of position off of that rebound. I made that nice save on the slap shot, but the rebound control didn't help me out. Don't worry, though. The post did. The post saved me somewhat. It was an off-angle shot. Oh, you know what? I gotta, I, I gotta grind on my post. Hold on one second. I don't care how badly I needed the post on that save. I gotta, when the puck drops, I gotta... Grab this post, grind on it. Just a couple seconds. Thank you so much for your help. You might become handy later on in this game, depending on how this goes. That was nicely played by the D. Remember, we have a very capable D in, in Minnesota based on the lineup that I saw in the Be a Pro menu screen. I played behind some decent teams in St. Louis. Remember, one of them being a Stanley Cup winner. Oh, well, that's goaltender interference, son. Give me my penalty. Give me my give my team a power play. Oh, I oh my god, I could have gone and chased that down. Probably a good thing that I didn't know. Don't take any unnecessary risk. Penalty coming up against Minnesota. Power play to Calgary. And there's the touch. Oh god. <laughs> Treaded penalty kill. Eight and a half to go in the game. This is so big. We lose the opening face off. And there we go. I actually have a competent defense, although this is the defenseman taking it on the rush. We score! Short-handed! How about Brodeen? His decision to take that puck and shoot it creates a rebound. Nolan Patrick in this uh, game world apparently does not is not dealing with those concussion issues that unfortunately pretty much ended his NHL career in the real world. So at least we're seeing Nolan Patrick score goals in this universe. And a big one at that. It comes short-handed. It boosts the lead to two goals, and furthermore, it's it's less time. The Flames are getting on the power play. They go offside here. They're, look at the coach. He's like, what are you guys doing? You're going offside? Oh, going offside on a power play. Straight illegal type things. I mean, you could go to prison for that. You should go to prison for going offside on a power play. That's not overdramatic, is it? No way is that overdramatic. I think uh, the teams I've played for would like to... Oh, yes! Oh, my God. <laughs> what a save that was. I thought we were done for. I thought it was over. Cross the seam pass, backdoor play basically, Coronado, and we extend and get leather on it. Just enough to push it. <laughs> there's, a, there's double rebound control on this one because we kept it in front of us and then right there, we knocked it behind the net. Oh God, I thought we were done for. I thought it was over with that one play, but we managed to get enough of it twice to put it out of harm's way, but we're not done with the penalty kill. Coronado again. He went for a slap shot. There was no puck there. Please clear that, and I can just relieve my anxiety for just a few seconds. Penalty over. So we got back to five on five. If the Calgary Flames could take a penalty, that would help me out. Oh my God, I'm getting every break in the world right now. Okay, thank you for making a save. We got to seal the lower part of the ice. My D is not playing particularly bad. That's an icing. Please touch it. No. No, clear. Oh, my God. This is anxiety driving. This is stressful as hell. Four minutes in regulation play to go. I guarantee you there's going to be some absolute 
nonsense going on in the late stages of this game. I'm just barely getting to these pucks. I'm not sure what the AI are going to do. Most of the flame shots are along the ice. I'm noticing that. A lot of shots along the ice where a lot of pucks rolling freely to me. And then I have to try and redirect them away from the net. Which is, of course, the job that a goaltender is supposed to do. Where did that go through? Patrick Kane scores late at 5-on-5. Five five. He definitely snuck that one, I think, between the arm and the torso. Not a good goal to give up from Dustin Wolf. I think, is the goaltender in net for Calgary on this one. Not a great replay, but you basically see it go in there between the blocker and the body. Oh my god, two minutes, please, two minutes, please. I've been screwed over multiple times by this game. Oh, thank you for the block. Very stressful block, though. That's why to the net. Okay, god. Can you guys just please gain the... Get the puck, gain the red line, dump it in. That's it. That's as simple as I can ask for right now. With 45 seconds to go, Calgary is guaranteed to get one more rush play, I feel like. Oh, here we go, Archibald. Pass. No. Yes! I need that. I need... Okay, cover. My God. You know, if, if I've pulled this off, I am going to just retire. I'm just retiring. I mean, I've had enough heart palpitations from this one game. It's enough for me to... Garrett, get a retirement. Nice save with the blocker. Punched it to the corner. Just kill time, please. God knows. Go, 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 go. Yes! Yes! All right. First career shutout in intervened gameplay. It is happening. Guaranteed. Finally. All right. What a W. On the crease indeed. Finally. See what happens when I play behind a contending team? So, even though I have a shutout in my career, I'm going to count that as my first career official shutout. We did it. And I made some brilliant saves down the stretch in this game to preserve said shutout. Put that one in the record books. Who is your first star? Yeah! You know, I was promised, I promised Miko Rontanen that I would be one of the three stars. I should have promised first star of that game, of this game, and the shutout because of that, because I got both of those things done in one game. Most stressful freaking game I've had in a long time. I haven't stressed out about a performance in a while, but I finally did it. A 30 save shutout, and I should have just. Why couldn't I talk to the the coach or management and promise a shutout before that game? I mean. I, I, you knew it was coming. It was bound to happen at some point or another. Intervened gameplay, I was going to get a shutout. The game gave me a great simulation. I finished finished the job in the intervention. And I'm going to count that as basically my first career shutout. I know we got a shutout for the... I think it was for the St. Louis Blues. I accidentally simmed all three periods and we got a shutout. But that is, in my mind, my first career shutout. And hopefully... That gets me out of the doghouse with the coaching staff, management, the Minnesota Wild. Nice game out there. Challenge accepted. Challenge completed, eh? What do you think you are, Canadian? <laughs> Come on. I just did what I do. Yes, exactly. See what happens when I'm on the top of my game. That is what I am fully capable of when I bring my A game to the rink, which is not often enough. It's going to take a lot more games like that Calgary game. To get back to 900 save percentage, which isn't going to happen here. Oh, Kaprizov. So the former Minnesota Wild is on the Winnipeg Jets. I don't know if I knew that or not already, but it's a bit of a surprise. You know, the worst thing about these two goals, you know what I'm noticing? This one was scored not even 30, sex, 30, sex, 30 seconds into the game. I think this was scored 26 seconds into the game. And then Henestroza scores, what is that? Seven seconds later, what is going on here? Were we just nervous to start the game? But I'm going to need a lot more games like that game against Calgary in order to bring my save percentage back to a 900. Let's get in here and let's get after it. Okay, so a not so perfect simulation this time against Winnipeg on home ice, but a simulation that I can deal with. I can live with that. Two goals against, not too bad. I got to clean it up from here on in. And continue the streak that was started in the second period of this game. Nice save! Am I just... What's going on? Am I just starting to get these save animations to go in my favor for once? I noticed that in the game against Calgary. There was a lot of saves where the animation actually helped me. Sucks that I didn't get that first shutout, though, with the Minnesota Wild on home ice. I would have liked to have done that 
for the home fans, there's the former Minnesota Wild, Ka Kirill Kaprizov. Kirill the thrill. Not so thrilling because he's in the opposing team sweater for this game. And I have to face his offensive capabilities in the net. And there goes a goal. And one of the... Oh, my God. <laughs> Patrick Kane, what did you try to do to Alex Lyon after the goal? I hope this ends up in the replay. That's pretty neat. The lighthouse up there. What it, What happened after the goal, man? Look at Patrick Kane. <laughs> oh my God, man! Just had Lion's head between his legs after that celebration. Oh my God, man! EA, this game, this game is something else, man. So anyway, this is my first game at the XL Energy Center as a member of the Wild. First time in the Forest Green jerseys. That hit the post. Big shot off of the red iron behind Alex Lyon. Going to leave my honest opinion out here. It's time for the Minnesota Wild to do a rebrand. They, my honest rebrand, my ideal rebrand for the Minnesota Wild, just go back to the jerseys that you wore in your inaugural season. That would be perfect. I thought the Wild had a really cool uniform from the get-go. And bring back that old font. That font was so cool. The numbers on the back of the jerseys, go back and look at the, the Minnesota Wild jerseys when they first came into the league. They had such a unique number and name font. I wish they would bring that back. Might as well do that. I'm already going old school with the coho pads. I left the retro mask in Detroit, so we're not wearing retro uh, goaltender masks. But we got the retro pads still on because coho is no longer in existence, unfortunately. All right. Thank you, Brodeen. See what happens? I make saves. I give up rebounds. Defense cleans up the rebounds. In a perfect world, that's exactly how it works out. You might end up winning Stanley Cups if, if that's how you play D, because I'm going to give up the rebounds. You just got to be able to deal with it. Don't, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it, but I've had a pretty decent game so far. That rebound had me a little bit nervous, but they're cleaning it up. My teammates, my defensemen, they are my servants. I make a mess, and then I demand that they clean everything up. That's how it works here. So far, man, I've been digging this Minnesota Wild team. We could do something special this year. Now, me being the number one goaltender going into the playoffs, I don't know about that. I got a long road ahead of me to become a number one goaltender again. We got to work on that line score. And then the line score dropped heavily. There's a goal. The line score dropped heavily um, when I went into GM. Uh, I already forgot. Fitzpatrick. I went into his office. The line score I think I lost like minus 100 points or something like that. So I got a huge uh, wall to climb in that reg regard, I guess. If I'm stumbling over my words today, I do apologize. I just, I got dry mouth and I just got to deal with it. And it's been a thing for the last several days. It's just my body uh, reacclimatizing to the diet that I'm on. Not that I'm really on so much of a diet. I'm just, I'm altering the way that I'm eating and my body needs some time to get used to it. And part of that process is, is just dealing with a dry feeling in my mouth for an extended period of time. It does make uh, talking, it makes commentary very complicated. Aside from the one goal that went in in this third period of play, I haven't really played that poorly. I'm going, ba I'm going back to my uh, fidget spinner level defense or goaltending. <laughs> That's what I'm going to start calling it whenever I do that. The, this is the fidget spinner save. or how do, I don't know how to do it. I'm not worried. All right. Big, big rebound off the glove save. I almost put that thing back to the ceiling. The Jets keep it in. There we go. Good glove save. No fidget spinner action necessary. There's the fidget spinner move. There it is. <laughs> Whatever this is. Hey, look at that. I got back to 900. 900 save percentage. If you're going to lose a game, at least have a 900 or better save percentage, um, which hopefully doesn't happen too often. Uh, the, the, hopefully the, the 900 or better save percentage happens often enough, but hopefully the losing doesn't happen too often. I only dropped 9 in the line score, so I can live with that. I can deal with that. I need the simulation to just be friendly for the most part. I need the simulation to be friendly. The one goal I gave up was, for all intents and purposes, a back 